going? Have you started on those goals and have you made a way to achieve them already? Now I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about how we're going to progress and how we're going to track the progress and all the goals that we've got laid out. So whether you're trying to build muscle, whether you're trying to lose weight, um, there's something in here that can kind of help you. So if you're trying to lose weight or gain, you know, basically change your body composition, there's a couple ways that you can do it. Most people usually jump onto the scales. Now if you've got a scale with a body fat percentage reader, some people will do that as well. Um, some people will use calipers, uh, tape measurements, or, you know, just my personal favorite, which I'll leave to the latest. So we'll talk about a couple of them for a little bit. So the first one is the scales. So a lot of people will just come in and then you go, oh, I'm a little bit heavier than I'd like to be. So I want to weigh a little bit less. Now there's a few pros and cons to this. So the main pro is that you understand it. You understand what weight is, you know. I'm a little bit heavier than I want to be, so obviously I'm overweight and I want to lose some. So it's convenient to jump on. You don't need a lot of training and you don't need anyone else to do it. The main issue with it though, is it doesn't give you any indication of what your body composition is. So it doesn't tell you how much muscle mass you have, it doesn't tell you how much fat you have. So have you lost fat or have you lost muscle? With this you don't really know. Even with using the body fat um, reader on it, it's always going to be a little bit off. Somewhere between 10 and 20%, I've even seen it being off by 10% doing the measurements 10, 10 minutes apart. Now, once you move on from that, there's other ways you can do it. And a good way of doing it as well is tape measurement. Again, it's another thing that you pretty much understand. You understand what it means to be, you know, having your tape measurement go around. So if you want to fit into smaller jeans, a smaller dress, or even a smaller bathing suit this, you know, for summer, this may be a really, really cheap um, and valuable tool for you to use. I would use it more over the scales. Now if you want it to be a little bit more accurate, you can always use calipers. The only issue with calipers is you're going to have to ask someone else to do it. You can't do calipers by yourself. So you're going to have to find probably a personal trainer, a gym instructor, or someone that knows what they're doing to be able to measure you. Now this is probably, out of the last three that I've seen, probably the most inconvenient way to do it because you always have to find someone else to do it. Now whether that's free or not, I don't know. Um, but yeah, basically it just squeezes body fat and will let you know. If you really want to know what your body fat percentage, you probably use that. Now, those three things, you know, are all good and well. Out of those three, I would probably suggest that you use the tape measure a little bit more than the other two. Now, the reason being that the other two basically just give you numbers. It just gives you a number of like, oh, you know, you're 70 kilos, or gives you a number of like, oh, you know, you're 63, no, not 63, you're 10% body fat. However, if you're training because you don't like the way you look and you want to look a little bit better, you want to look a little bit more appealing to the other opposite sex maybe, or the same sex if you want to, or maybe, you know, just from the outside looking and you want to look good. Out of those three, the tape measure is going to be the best indicator of how good you're going to look and how, you know, how much you're changing in terms of appearance. The best way i found for you to notice your progress is simply just taking photos. So if you take a photo of how you look on day one, you take a photo of how you look on day 21, and you can see the difference as you go through. Now no difference, you probably need to change something with your diet, your training, or whatever. That's another video, but just think about these things when you're trying to track your progress. It's not all about weight on the scale. I say it a lot. People only see you. They don't see what the number is on the scale. They don't see what the number is on your calibers. They only see you. So even if you, you know, you feel like, oh, I've lost weight and stuff. If you're trying to look better from the outside looking in, I'm not saying it by any means that you need to seek other people's approval, but a lot of people do because they feel a little bit more confident when they look better. Now, numbers on a scale, numbers on a caliper, they're not making you look better at all. They're just numbers. However, tape measure, you can see that from the outside. Photos, you can see it. So those are really good ways of making sure that you're on track and that you can be help, happy with how you look. Developing confidence and just feeling better for the new year. Happy training, I'll see you next week.